hello. I am here. <laughs> Nothing else significant to say. Uh, let's go here. Oh, yeah, okay, it works. Um, yeah. I haven't done a whole lot off stream this time, as opposed to the last several streams, <laughs> but I was just in here uh, kind of disassembling some bedrooms here. Uh, we have a whole bunch more bedrooms downstairs that we're uh, carving out and furnishing. Um, so I want everyone to move down there. So I just turned all of these, this whole, this whole bottom section here is now no longer bedrooms. Um, so I was just going in and uh, giving disassemble orders on all of the furniture manually. Apparently that's a little boring to watch, so I just did that real quick uh, off stream. Um, so in theory, people are going to come up here and grab all this furniture and bring it downstairs and we'll, we'll put it in our new bedrooms. Um, other than that, I don't know what specific plans I have. Oh, Kfish person dying to a trap. Or just dancing on the traps. Now it's dead. <laughs> this needs to be resumed. Look at all this. This was all garbage. You've dealt with all this garbage. Very happy with that. Um, someone's already coming to grab this corpse. And all this stuff. Wow. I like that. Um, I think we're finally dealing with all of our trash here. Um, other than that, let's see. Uh, exports is fine. We're gonna maybe take a closer look at some of our workshop orders. Some time here. Just random, random stuff in the stairwells. Um, yeah. Militia Captain Sun by Honeybee. One thing I was noticing going through... Random backpack. <laughs> um, this has no barrels, right? I think they're just slowly unpacking. Um, I was couldn't help but notice as I disassembled all these bedrooms that everyone has all this food in their bedroom. Like these chests are just filled filled with food. What is this? Just hoarding lobsters. Like, I knew that they would take some food and, and claim it, but, like, this is... They don't even eat that often. This is, like, a lifetime of food <laughs> in a chest. Just sitting there. Um, which I guess isn't that bad, because we do have enough food for everyone, but, like, I'd much rather that they ate in our, our dining hall, not alone in their rooms. But whatever. Um, they're slowly disassembling all this. They'll bring it all downstairs. Whatever. Um, we're still doing like the doors and hatches and stuff. Good. And hatch. He's close. Some of that. Ideally, eventually people don't come over here in the long term. Uh, but I'll. Um, I can disassemble these, too. The other thought I had, I was looking at... I don't know 
was looking at. <laughs> um, we have a bunch of instruments. We bought a whole bunch of instruments from traders. And some instruments, a lot of instruments will just end up in a chest in one of our, uh, like a temple down here. There's chests, or there's, there's instruments in the chest. Uh, but some instruments are large, and instead of being put in a chest, they get built somewhere. I think we have a bunch of big instruments that we haven't put anywhere, and thus aren't being used. Which means we should put them somewhere. Um, so right here. Large instruments must be placed. Taverns or temples. Uh, sure, whatever. Um, so... I don't know where to put them in here. Also, there's the cat. Um... Do to select. Do like. I do like the middle. How about this. So there's Nim Nimg. Uh, some sort of gong instrument, percussion instrument. Um, bone gemis, which is looks like a standing bell kind of a thing. Washes, same thing. These are all procedurally generated at, at World Gen, so these these instruments are unique to to this world. Within within some some amount of uh, uh, standardization, I don't know. Are you are you okay? gone all weekend, so she's been so lonely and neglected. Um, so I'm just gonna do uh, one of those, and then we'll do one of those. I don't know, those are both... I wanna do the other kind, unless they all look like that. Similar or here. Gemis and a niche. Some of these are decorated even. Wow, nice. Um, and then I want to put some in here too. Pretty sure. Maybe. If it matters where they are, like if they can be just in the middle, or we'll do one of those, we'll do those. Those are kind of the two big things, right? Hunger, evil, bone. Weird. Um, we'll start there. Um, we could put some in the bathhouse, too. Why not? This is a meeting area. Eat. Mew. I do like that and that. Why not? Um, and these are going to be our nobles' quarters. So we'll need to place some of our furniture. Also trying to fix some weird things got <laughs> mined out without me intending. Uh oh, hey, a forgotten beast. Uh, Gogol Nohus. 
an enormous one-eyed alligator, two short tails, and a bloated body. Late gray scales are small and close set, but where it's deadly blood. Mm. Where are you? You are in the deeper cave, so you're fine. Oh, wow. Um, there was another forgotten beast down here. I wonder if it's still here. There's our new one. We have merchants, too. Yeah. Where are you? You're over here. You're on opposite sides. <laughs> Uh, but they'll probably meet at some point. Uh, we'll see if we can catch that combat when it happens. Are you already fighting something? This is, this is the other one. Beds. And then we'll deal with all that. Please keep moving. Oh, there you go. I can see 90% of my screen. It's fine. Installing instruments. Constructing. Um, have we traded? I have requested. I can't remember if I already traded. I know. Yeah, I think we still need to trade. Um, waiting for our broker to show up. As always. Okay. They're fighting each other? Forgotten Beast misses the Forgotten Beast. Forgotten Beast latches on firmly. Okay, looks like... Or no, they're both still here. Ulet the Bad versus Gogol the Submerged. It's pretty cool. There's gonna be Deadly Blood versus... What do you have? Uh, where's the description? Noxious secretions. They both have the same sprite, or very similar, I guess. Okay. That back is different. All these Forgotten Beast sprites are like, are new, so... Kinda cool to see them. Oh! I think one died. But the other is seriously injured. Ulet, the bad. Just gained a name. Frayed Umbral. Forgotten Beast breaks the grip of the Forgotten Beast's teeth on the shell. Kicks in the tongue. Ow. Horse pulls the head. So got kicked in the head. That'll usually do it. Uh, okay, <laughs> that's one Forgotten Beast down uh, without us having to do anything. I'm okay with that. Um, we should deal with all these. We have training going on. Oh yeah, so we have all this dugout now. Or very nearly. Uh, this is going to be a training area. 
the, both of these are, rather. Uh, and these are all jail cells. And they go like this. Plant is on. Always on, is it? I don't imagine we have that many ropes laying around. Decibel. Restraints. Rope. Oh, we do have that many ropes laying around. Okay. Uh, we'll just do that. My jail cells previously have been pretty sparse. Um, did we even have... Someone exploded into clothing there. Um, did we have... Beds? We had beds, but nothing else. Also you. Do I want to free you? Assigned and chained. He's not like in our justice screen anymore. Memory serves. One. Just immediately back into. <laughs> back into jail. Um. Convicts. The, this is the guard itself. Okay. These are the convicts. Okay, here we go. Um, so our... I don't see this guy. Fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all his clothing. We got all our furniture out. Mostly. Is that one? Uh, but they'll come and grab all this clothing. Um, I wish they could figure out how to smooth under the bookshelves. I'll tell you to do it. What are you doing? You're reading... Oh, you're throwing a tantrum. You're eating. Because of course you are. How do I keep them to not eat? Hello. Welcome. Uh, more mandates. There's a cat here. How are you? Uh, gauntlets. Oh, no worries. Uh, hope power is okay. Uh, low boots and gauntlets. Feature. You're blocking the UI. You're, you're still in the way. Three inches. Give me, give me three inches of space, please. No. Okay. You're still blocking the exact part of the screen that I need to see. <laughs> there, that's better. Uh, okay. So I think we finished that. So we need to do two gauntlets, one low boot. Uh -huh. Nope, that's not two gauntlet, one low boot. These both super sized. Cool. 
I was just contemplating how to keep my dwarves from eating food in the library. And also Zahn is here wanting to start a fist fight in the library. Osig. We have a temple to Osig, don't we? I swear. Let's see. Aros. Just have to look at him. Thorin. Rain. Vit. Nomoth. Bitrack. The stable. Aldo. Osig. Osig has a temple. That's one thing I wanted to check. Among many other things. Um want to make sure that we have temples to our queen's gods. More tantrums. Uh, let's see. Family, deities. Okay, so Osik has one. Etter definitely has one. Pretty sure we have temples to all four of those. Our queen knows quite a few people. Still single. Oh, they, were, oh, they left. Mm. Can't remember if I traded with them before the, <laughs> before they left. We loaded and they were in here. Um, so now we can turn these into bedrooms. Once we put them. I was also lamenting how many food things everyone keeps hoarding in their bedrooms. I don't know how to fix that. Or tell them to stop. Other than just not giving them chests, which... I want them to have chests. I just don't want them to have 50 prepared meals in there. Okay. And then these can become bedrooms. this activity we have the millstones are going these are all doing doing stuff Not quite. We're making cloth. We're making cloth. Probably want more of these. I want to see. Okay. I want to check how much thread we have compared to how much cloth we have. To see where if we're experiencing any choke points. Uh, cloth. We have quite a bit of cloth, big tail cloth in particular, which is good. That's what we're making. Um, wool cloth, that's cool. Um, oh yeah, so we have cave spider silk and giant cave spider silk. The two different kinds of cave spiders. Um, so 200 some odd cloth. 
put thread. We have a lot of thread, 800 thread. So maybe we need to be weaving more cloth. That's a lot. Oh, but this is gonna be like uncollected stuff. Right? I assume. I assume these numbers, I, I want to say like the top one is what we have in stockpiles and then the bottom number is like stuff that is elsewhere. What if I go, see that's in a stockpile. Hmm. Um, and then in theory we have a bunch of dye, right? Because no one's over here making it. That's gonna be in powder. Powder. Some sand. Good. And a bunch of dimple dye. Wow. Bunch of dimple dye. Creature. What are your perch? Do not want to be on camera? Yeah. She's just... She's just in the way. Fine. Um, yeah, I'm going to make a couple more looms. I think I'm going to, I'm going to remove these. I'm going to remove them, rather. for all this. real creature. Okay. Um, and then I will move those screw presses over here. Do something like this. This will be way overkill, but that's fine. Then these two squares are just for clothing, and then all three of these are is our kitchen, basically. I'm gonna lay down now. We got a 
Merchants have left. Kill the goat. Oh, that's one thing I should do. Let's go to our caves. Uh, so just at the end of last stream, we've managed to relocate all of our indoor creatures. Migrants. We're at 197. Who told you we have room for migrants? Anyway. Um, we've moved our pen, our pasture, for all of our grazing animals, is now deep inside in our cave. And this is like fully enclosed. Um, these walls go all the way up to the ceiling, right? I finished all that. They are totally safe. Um, there's no... There's not even like a door to get out to the caves from here. It's uh, You have to go in, then you can come out, and you can come out to the farm. Um, but we have two little shops over here, and these are for um, milking and shearing our animals. I'm going to add a couple of work orders to these shops specifically. Uh, there's milk. Milk. And both of these I will set to do one at a time. And they will check daily. Uh, so what that will do is every day, if there is a animal to milk, they will milk the animal. Um, instead of, you know, if you set it at 10, then they'd have to have 10 milkable animals to, to start the job, and then someone's been milkable for, for a while. So uh, I think this makes sense in sheer. And since we have two jobs or two workshops doing that on repeat, then it's basically every day we can milk and shear two animals. Which should be plenty. Leave. It's been fine so far. I guess I'll, I'll say that. Um, especially since milk and wool is not, like, critical for our fortress. Cheese and wool is nice. Um, but not, like, we're not dependent on it. Um, but look at this. We have we have normal goats, but we also have what's well, a ram? Gray mountain goats. Now they're just they're intermingled with our our general uh, population. Mountain goats are not naturally domesticated creatures. Like when you start. Like alpacas, those are domesticated when you start a game. But our mountain goats are knowledgeable on them it's because we trained them. We have domesticated mountain goats in this fortress, in this playthrough. It's very cool. Um, so we have we have domestic mountain goats intermingling with our you know trained llamas and yaks and such. Um, some of these are pets even. And, okay. Oh, we just had a, a migration, so let's see if anyone brought some grazers, just some puppies. Oh, puppies. Okay. Um, but now, every once in a while, one of these jobs will theoretically activate, and someone will, and since these are right here, they just have to, you know, grab a, grab a goat, haul it right here, shear it, and then put it back in the pen. They don't have to take it all the way up to the crafting floor, or down to the crafting floor. They just have to move the, the product, the, the milk and such. Um, well, the other thing... Uh, oh, here, look! Sheer alpaca. We'll just guide the alpaca. And someone else is uh, either shearing or milking. And they do that. And it's done. Oh, and then it runs off. 
<laughs> okay, well. How about we add some doors? Door. Do something like this, and we'll. Oh, there used to be a way to, um, yeah, see, now they're taking it back. Leave to be near a waterfall. What are you doing? Just past spring to go. Yeah, okay. Now you're going to do the same thing. No. <laughs> the goat wanders off. <laughs> uh, we probably could have technically put the... We can make this part of the pen. Does that work that way? Because if they're in the pen, they don't leave the pen. But if they're not in the pen, then they just wander around. So, job cancellation spam. We are... The cancel sheer animal no creature because it wandered off. Um, item inaccessible, not sure what these are. Process plant to bag. I was considering... I was considering... Right now we have all of our food kind of in one big stockpile. Um, and I'm wondering if it all being intermixed like that is kind of what's causing some of those cancellations. Like if someone wants a big tail out of a barrel, but someone else wants the plump helmet out of the same barrel, they can't like both be going to the same barrel at the same time because the barrel bit gets like flat for the job, I think is how it works. Don't quote me on that. Uh, that's, that's my understanding of it. Um, so I'm wondering if separating them out into like constituent parts will Maybe smooth that out a bit. Um, okay, so we have our doors here. Now, there are two things you can do to doors. No, one thing. Zahn is throwing a tantrum again. It's just... You used to be able to restrict animals from going through doors. Might not be how it works anymore. Um, hopefully Zon is in jail. Nope, he's not. Convict. Everyone saw you do it. Oh, and we're working on our glass. Smart. We got, ooh. Ooh, we got glass. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and do, let's do a round of this. I think our diggers aren't doing a whole lot right now. Um, we'll do a couple at a time. Yeah. Is this process plants to back. That job in particular has always been a thing. Can I find... Process plants to bag. And this is just all of them. So some of these are several of these farm jobs. Pull up the wiki. Process plants. This process plants is a job in this menu, but it's like four jobs. Um, well, there's process plants to bag, there's process plants to barrel, etc. Mill plants is different. Um, so process plants to bag is used for quarry bushes into rock nuts and bush leaves. And that's the only bag one. So how are we on rock nuts? 
stocks menu takes a little while to open when you get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, plants. Plants. We have some leeks. We have zero rock nuts. So that is why that job is not working. Um, do we have seeds for rock nuts? We... We do. I think we have just processed all of our quarry bushes into their rock nuts. Um, and I believe we also have at least one of these is for planting rock nuts, right? Rock nuts, uh, yeah, rock quarry bushes, I should say. Aren't we planting quarry bushes anywhere? Uh, the thing we can do. So I, I want. It's on. Jerk. Zon fighting a bird. Zon is fighting a bird. I, I prefer, generally speaking, to get things to be working in the in game default mechanics. Um, but DF Hack does have. An auto farm. No, no, let's check this out. Auto farm is stopped. Is there a GUI auto farm? Nope. Where? Nope. Okay. If I do this. No. Auto farm help. Um, automatically manage farm crop selection. Periodically scan your plant stocks and assign crops to your farm plots based on which plant stocks are low, as long as you have the appropriate seeds. Target threshold for each crop type is configurable. So, yes, I can enable. I can run once. Updates all farm plots once without enabling the plugin. Uh, including defined thresholds. So let's do auto farm status. Does that do anything? Default 50. Just 50 of everything. Auto farm default, auto farm threshold type. And find the identifiers for the crop types in your world by running the following command. I like it. Do a Lua command? Jeez. Auto farm threshold 150 mushroom helmet plump. Grass tail pick. Hmm. I'd rather there be like a. Maybe they're working on a GUI interface for that one. Um, but we're probably good on pigtails ultimately, but why can't I change this? Hmm. And also mess with fertilizing. Definitely making pigtails. So in autumn, can't grow everything. Okay, well. As far as job cancellation spam goes, our process plants to bag job. Um checking monthly is fine. I just want
feel like 20? I don't know. Because generally what, what happens is you'll have, you'll activate twice, right? You'll have two workshops that'll take a job for doing 10 plants. But then you only have, you know, 12 plants left. So then they'll both do halfway and then they have half a job there that just sits there and gets canceled over and over again. Um, where do we go? Process plants too bad. If I just yeah, because it's active. So maybe that will make it reevaluate itself. Maybe. Um. All right. Is on. Let's convict Zon of that. And that. We'll see if the one thing stops getting cancelled. Uh, oh, and our throne room. Go down here. Perfect. Or... And where's the glass? The glass is right here. There you are. There are glass blocks. Oh. Another 16, so another 10 or so. That's not too bad. Uh, let's do another... Do like this. So yeah, milk animal one happened six times. Well, that's good. Uh, weaving thread, bone crafts, rock mechanisms. Um, do we have? Let's one let that happen. Um. Had a thought, and then it went away. Oh, this. We're working on all these. I want this to be a barracks. Except. And this is for everyone to train in. This one is going to be for marksman training. It means we need to build some archery targets, that's the word. Uh, just process, that's fine. That's all good. And then a trick that I learned from previous versions. I assume it still works. Um, but if... Um, actually, I think you want to do both, even. If someone fires a bolt at a target, and then the bolt falls one level before it hits the ground, it doesn't destroy the bolt. Then you can get it back. That's my... I think that's how that works. We'll we'll see if it actually continues to work. Um, but if we go like this, and then we can make a little passage down here to to retrieve our arrows from down there. Or we wouldn't even have to. There's just a it's just gonna be a slope. I think this will work. Um, let's smooth our jail. Put some beds in there. And, yep, cool. More 
floors. Look at that. More glass. things I want smooth. That's the thing. Do like this. Smooth all this. Mm, I want to smooth all this, but at like a slightly lower priority. Just the whole thing. Also, this. Um, and also the whole bathhouse, right? Just smooth everything. Alright, I'm still slowly getting rid of this stupid little... that thing. Um... Uh, this has all been smooth. I think I want more tables in here, though. Selecting... So the space and then chairs and then tables here. And then I probably have more bookcases. Yes. And yes, I have some more. fill all of these bookcases. But they'll look nice. And that's what matters. I was going to leave the sides there. 
Mm -hmm. And as they place those, I'm also going to get rid of these initial ones so that I can smooth underneath them. Since they refuse to do it otherwise. Yeah. And it kind of makes sense from like a um, code perspective, I think. Um, I mean, it, it also seems... I don't know if it's different per different kinds of furniture. I feel like sometimes they will smooth underneath furniture and sometimes they won't. And I don't... I haven't quite figured out what makes the difference there yet. Lots of bookcases. And you are working on it. These are the not assembled ones. Or not placed, I should say. Okay. Now, smooth remainder. Then we'll put them back. We have our paper here. Um, I also want this stockpile to take book findings. Which are stored somewhere. <laughs> the codices themselves, sure. I'll look that up. Um, oh, nest boxes. I wanted to fill with that too. Uh, book finding. Finished goods tools. I don't want all tools. Hmm. Because... There's other like rock tools that would go in there. Like it's gonna get filled with mugs if I enable that. Hmm. You smooth. Be smooth now. What are you doing? You're eating. Disdain skill. Okay. Okay. Smooth. Smooth head. Oops. 
We have company. Uh, let me place these back before I forget about them. Bookcase. <coughs> Cases will be placed. That's all the furniture for our library, at least. Um, who's attacking? No. Who disturbed the fish people? I don't see anyone. One up in a tree. Let's tell our squad to come down here. Oh, you. I bet it was you collecting webs. Now we're just gonna... Built her up, aren't they? The web collector go. I'm running back. Okay, good. You. <laughs> okay. jail you still need to look you just both of you need to behave doesn't look like the fish are gonna actually come out they're just being agitated Grand Guild Hall for the Craft Stores. I can do that. I can do that quite easily. Just have to remember which one is theirs. Uh, Stoneworker. Metalsmith. Miner. Woodworker. Another armor. Fishery worker. Kraftdorf agreed to build Grand Guild Hall. So, we're just gonna engrave your floor. Uh, I zoomed in and lost my place. <laughs> uh, Kraftdorf. Your guild hall is called the Hall of Guilds. Oh, your guild is called the Hall of Guilds. Okay, well, whatever. We're gonna smooth. Oh, you're already smooth. Going to engrave like that. And that will be plenty. Yeah, the guild hall is the crystalline, crystalline doors. Crystalline doors. Slightly different. Yeah, the guild is called the Hall of Guilds, and they reside in the Guild Hall, the Crystalline Doors. <laughs> the Craft Dwarfs, not Naming Dwarfs. Okay. Uh, our process plants to bag is still doing a thing. Clearly haven't fixed that. Let's go to our 
actual floor. Um, so those happen in farmer's work shop. Yeah. So yeah, see, there's two two workshops here trying to do the one process plants to bag job. I'm just gonna like normal process plants. I think those are happening just fine. That's the pigtails, I imagine. Um, we'll go check that. Build a mountain goat. Um, tempted to just cancel that process plans to back job for the moment, because yeah, it's still just active. Um, so yeah. Instead of making that just a general work order that can task any of these shops, I think what we should do is we'll, we'll make a couple of shops that can't take general orders and we'll be more specific about what they're doing. So that they're not but they're only happening in one place. Oh, we're saving. So I'll have like a shop that processes plants to bags since that's just rock nuts. And then we can do probably a couple that will process for pigtails. Let's look at, let's look at that. Process plants to bag is just for quarry bushes. Process plants is for plants that can become thread into thread. Um, so for our purposes, it's going to be almost entirely pigtails, but I think we... I don't think we're growing rope braid or anything like that, but there's some other plants that can become thread. They're all done with processed plants. So... Let's do this. You will do process plants to bag. And you're literally just going to do one at a time. <laughs> Check daily. Amount of bag processable plants is one. And amount of empty bags is one. That will at least not just sit there and cancel forever. Um, but I'll do the same thing here, but with just the normal process plants job. Uh, same thing, we're just going to do one at a time. Check daily. Yep. Let's do like if we have. There, twenty. Because pigtails are getting used for two different things. We don't want to process plants all of our pigtails, but we want to do most of them. Um, so I should find where that other job. Is. This, yeah. Uh, I want to sort. Oh. oh. Out of this sort them process plants. You didn't sort them at all. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the process plants that can task any shop. And instead we'll have this one and this one. Process plants, I'll just do one at a time. Check daily. If we have more than 20 plants, you can do that too. Right. Now these are both down here. Both the same. And then these other three will just take tasks from the, from the general queue.
And... Ooh, we're being sieged. Hooray. One, two, three, four, five, six. You think there's more than the six? Is this a real siege? Um, who's out here that's gonna get surprised? Even on the right. See, if they showed up on this level, I'd be able to catapult them. Uh, I don't see anyone wandering around out here. Soldiers. Oh, I stationed them down there, didn't I? <laughs> Station over here. Uh, the cat is back. Hi. Okay. What do you got? You got like 50? Or do you got like 6? More than 6. Oh boy. more than six. Okay. Well. Well then, it's been a little while since we've had to fight Bad Steel. It's been a while since we've had to fight like a real big force of goblins. Uh, you got a copper breastplate. That's good. Copper, iron bolts. Okay. Well. In theory, our squads... Well, they were in the cave. I told them to be. Um, let's see what else wandering around up here. Luckily, we haven't had any service jobs for a while, so it's probably like a random fisher person. If that even... There, you. That's fine. Um, can I have our squad station, like, just inside? So maybe we can get some on the traps. They're they're coming. They're, okay, you got inside. If they just walk in and, and go on all of our traps, that would be great, actually. One by one. Is that a trained Nope, oh, that's just a random red winged black bird. Okay. I'm just gonna walk over the traps. Oop. Did that not do anything? You just walk right over them. How is that even? How does that work? Um, Gotten beast is fighting a. <laughs> I'm a See that? There. You died. So you... Maybe you're like a... Uneasy after seeing a goblin die. Yeah. This other one... Yeah. You got beat up a bit. Spiked ball strikes the crossbowman in the leg. Skipping through the high boot. Horse twists the knee. Ligament has been torn. Loses hold of his sock. Got hit in the knee so hard it blew your sock off. Okay. Uh, swan leather high boot breaks. Interesting. Bronze disc hits the goblin in the hand and chops it off. 
loses hold of a boot and a sock. It hit you in the hand, and you lost your boot. Well. You're dead now. So that's fine. Um, one goblin has made it across our... Uh, our traps, but in theory, they're just going to run right into our soldiers. Who are running up the ramp any minute now, maybe? Yeah, here they are. <laughs> they're coming from the caves up here. Um, but even then, we have a whole nother round of traps here. And, and cage traps, in case something gets gets out. So We're still fine. Who else can make it over to the traps? You were fine. Oh, someone's figured out our... No, didn't try it. <laughs> Hopefully these are at least, like, softening them up. Yeah, see, there's a dead one. Now they're getting more apprehensive. Let's preemptively... Uh, I'm going to close this one. Oh. So they can't actually circumvent it if they get smart enough. Come on. Get chopped. Okay, well. We have not yet met with my soldiers. Uh, but they will shortly, it looks like. I wonder if fighting on a wet ramp is a good idea. There we go. Okay. Dead. They all just fight in here. It's best. Okay, yep, kill him. It's hard to watch on a on the ramp like this, but here we go. In theory they're still coming. What are you doing? You're all just You're here to station. Of course you're stressed. It's war. Here we go. Good. Good, good, good. See, that's... That's perfect. Nice clump of my dwarves all wearing their stuff, hiding in a hallway with no other exits, far away from all my civilians. That's exactly what we want to see. How many are even left? A bunch of them got in through the traps. It was interesting. I'm gonna continue on. Just don't get don't get separated. Oh, we're getting grumpier. looked like one dude with that yeah the seat the we broke the siege I think we're good cool um, we can check our creatures list uh, if we look for invaders should all just be fish people oh there's a couple here but these are gonna be running yeah. You leaving? Or just hanging out. I guess that's also a <laughs> thing they can do. Yeah, one, two. Probably 
we also with like snatchers out here or something. That's a it's also a goblin, but that's a that's just a just an insane poet goblin, not a <laughs> not a sieging goblin. Um, but see, we we defeated the vast majority of them, and the two that are remaining are just going to run off. They're not actually sieging us anymore. But ideally, you'd kill them so that they're not just like hanging out and harassing fishers. Um, can sieges be actual sieges? Kind of. Um, I don't think they bring siege weapons like like catapults. Um, okay, and they're just good now. They do sometimes bring mounts and friends. Um, we've been pretty lucky with our goblin sieges so far. Um, when they start getting bigger, yeah, these are all just cave fish people. Um, they can bring trolls as just friends, like trained trolls. Which are great fun because trolls are building destroyers. Um, so like if you're if you're dependent on like doors uh, for your, um, they like they can bust doors off their hinges. They can destroy workshops, um, stuff like that. Um, gates, anything that's constructed, um, they can't. But uh, but yeah, other things they can. Um, and they can also climb walls. Uh, let's... I'll just... No, not dump. Flame. There we go. We need to clean up out here, don't we? Bring mortars and build their own fortifications. That's terrifying. Um, I can't remember if it was a mod. It might be a mod or a like a Dwarf Fortress hack thing. I've never played around with it personally, but there is a... some circumstance, either a mod or a hack or whatever, that allows siegers to dig. And that scares the crap out of me. Um, like, they'll, you can completely seal up your fortress, but then they'll be like, oh, they're down there somewhere, and they'll just start digging. And they'll punch a hole into your fortress somewhere at some point. Um, terrifying. A gauntlet, okay. But I don't think that happens by default in just the, the vanilla game. That's good. So we de dealt with that. Um, guild Hall Agreement has been satisfied. The Guild Hall Agreement with the Hall of Guilds has been satisfied. <laughs> uh, fine. Now. So we're canceling creature things. Weaving things, smoothing things. Give water, animal access. Hmm. Um, moving into cloth. Why is that getting? Why is that having trouble? Hmm. Forgotten Beast is fighting a troll. Neat. Who lets the bad is just down here. Destroying. Wow. Let's not deal with him. He can he can stay down there and, and just make friends with all the trolls. Um let's check our trash pile. Ooh, look at all of that space. I assume that's one of our dwarves. We need to be buried somewhere.
Um, but yeah. Then like this, I'm just gonna... This doesn't need to be an actual stockpile, I just wanted to move things out of the way. Uh, so we'll get rid of that stockpile. It's just a pile of rocks. People are placing things. And then here, we actually don't have much sitting here, surprisingly. We've dealt with a lot of garbage. Who are you? Administrator. Okay. Uh, we're growing stuff. And it's... Um... I assume this is all fine. Let's try. How can you store so much stuff on top of that one tile hatch? Because it's a dump zone. That's the entirety. That gets kind of uh, the explanation. Um, because it's not a stockpile. Um, yeah, that's that's the main thing. Um, people do exploit that. You can you can put a dump zone on top of a stockpile, and if you tell people to dump, and there's only the one dump tile, then everything will be dumped onto the one tile. Um, and then you can remove the dump zone, and things will just stay on the one tile. Um, I consider that an exploit, and it's not really how you're supposed to do stockpiles. Um, it's mo it's a dump thing specifically. Um, but yeah, you you can do it. Like people, they call it quantum stockpiling. Except. Um, yeah, that's, that's the long and short of it. But like, I, you, you, they can only do it if they're putting things there with the dump command. Or I guess you can also do things like, um, I have a minecart. You can set up automated minecart stuff so that, uh, a minecart full of things hits... Uh, a square, a, a stop instruction on the minecart track, and then just automatically dumps its contents, and then the minecart keeps going. And that tile will never fill. Like, every minecart that comes by can dump its entire contents onto that one square, and then just continual minecarts can keep dumping stuff on that uh, one square forever. Um, so you'll end up with a huge stack of things like that as well. But then if you want to move that stuff into a stockpile or divert it, you know, separate it into different stockpiles, then those will obey stockpile rules. They'll have to, you know, put them in bins or they'll take up one square or whatever. Um, yeah. If that makes sense. I just extended the, the pen up into here so that Anything in here will still count as pinned and won't like wander off. But now there's a wandering, <laughs> just hanging out in. That's a lot of buckets. It was all filled with milk. You all need to take care of that milk. Is our food stockpile full? No, it's not. <laughs> they just need to move stuff. cheese time for sure. I think I have a cheese job. I, had... I saw cheese at one point. Um, let's see. Making cloth things. Rock things. Cheese. So it's just waiting, okay. And rotten milk items. So maybe this should be... Uh, 
have this check daily. Restarts if completed. Checked daily. One at a time. Uh, but then they'll actually do it, maybe. Oh, look at all this. They're milling the plants. Mill. Well, in theory, every time we we have a harvest of like pigtails, then they'll just all immediately go into the the mill, which is good. We'll just do it all at once. Be done. We're going to the stockpile. Okay. Collected plant thread. Plant thread is here. We have and the end cloth is here too. Right? Yeah, see there's silk thread. Are we out of plant thread? These. Uh let's see. Thread. Pull yarn. So much silk thread. Yeah, no, we got all we got all this pigtail thread. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there is stuff in here. We're making shell crafts, we're making bone crafts. We should also make rock crafts, just like forever. Use up some all this spare rock. Start cleaning all that up. What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> all our bones and shells. We're making it through our sand. Yeah, I'm tempted to I'm tempted to make like a pigtail stockpile and a plump helmet stockpile. Let's do, let's do this. Something like that. I don't know that they even need to be that big. Whoops, that's... Do something like this. Nope. One at a time. We're racing still. There we go. Okay. So you are food of type pigtail. And you no longer take pigtails. You can have all the barrels, that's fine. And then you take, we'll say plump helmets. I'm sure we have a ton of that. Food, plump. No, it's a plant. Come on. Plump okay. You can take barrels too. Did I do that right? Um, okay, and then plants, lump helmet.
We'll see if that helps out with our up cancellations. Grundle is fighting. I believe it. Okay. Zon is still being Zon. See, they're moving our plump helmets. What other plants do we make in mass? Probably the cave wheat. Because cave wheat we also grind into flour. Lots of leeks. Dimple cups. We could make a dimple cup stockpile. Some food, plant, uh, nimble, nimble cup. Okay. And then you don't do cups. Now, why don't we have a bunch of cave wheat? That's really the question. Forbidden pigtail. <laughs> uh, okay, seeds. We have seeds, right? Go on pigtail. Go on dimple cup. Go on leeks. We have cave wheat seeds. We may have just gone through all of our cave wheat. Almonds. Oh, and sweet pods. And rock nuts. We have seeds for... We have seeds for everything. Okay. We can take barrels. Um... So... Please take the mill plant job. Which... Sugar, flour, dye, slurry. Okay. Not all that helpful. Um, I think... We've got our mill plant job. Mm. I don't think it's set up for any specific uh, material. It's around here somewhere. Mill plants. So we're just milling literally every kind of plant that can be milled. Which I think is what we want. The only time where that might be an issue is pigtails. But I think that's okay because then if we we mill 
So we're using pigtails for thread, so long as we have more than like 20 pigtail, but then we're milling the rest of them. But I think that's fine because we have much more source of thread. Then we just have like a million globs. How many globs do we have? That its own thing. Glob. Oh, I got a whole bunch of bee wax. And tallow. Holy cow, we have tallow. Here we go. Paper. It's 50 pigtail slurry. It's like way more than we need. We're, that's for paper. We have a whole bunch of paper. So we want to mill all of our flour, but not perpetually mill our um, like dye. We want to mill all the dye, all the dimple cups, but not all the pigtails. That just means getting fancy with workshop links, I think. Hmm. Like you, you have thread. We have reduced the cancellations though. I think that's helpful. Um. We got here's all of our furniture. <laughs> um, we should dig out more bedrooms. Uh, make sure everyone gets placed down here. All right, we'll just do like that. That's all fine. Cool. Petitions. The Silvery Hall, once a Grand Guild Hall. Stoneworker Guild. One of these stoneworker agreed to build a grand guild hall. Okay, we'll just engrave. There we go. Corners got left over. Um, what about here? Do we have more glass? A little bit. Not a whole lot. Didn't I tell someone to put a statue there? Fine. Uh, we have some more decorated porcelain statues. have <laughs> literally one sterling statue, but it's not decorated. That's fine. Whatever. Um, and then our stuff down here. We have sand. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, you. No job. 
You're just wandering down here. Don't get too far. Because now you, you have a station order in a martial trance. Okay. You have disturbed the nest. Go station. I'm not going to tell them all to get in the water with you. Jerk. That's, that's too many fish. No wonder my game's going so slow. Um, are they going to try to get out? Are they just going to... Cheese. That's good. I was going <laughs> to go back into the little hole. Oh. That's a lot of fish. So much fish. Jeez, okay. We're, we're draining here, yeah. Slowly. We're grinning here, slowly. Another single gun. the one dead person Anchor, guard. Uh, we should also make like what can we make out of our wax crafts, you're making shell crafts, you're making bone crafts, and we'll make wax crafts. Why not? He's throwing a tantrum while on duty. Well, They don't seem to be coming for us, so I'm gonna ignore them for now. One thing I should do, though, um, this. Mm. So this should be an actual barracks for archery range. Shoot down, and this is for everyone. Or no, only our soldiers and guard. Hey, our jail is 
nice and smooth. We'll put some beds in here. Smooth all of these as well. Give our soldiers some nice things to look at. Uh, but also want to make a space for Castle Guard. Two, three, four, five. think that's... Okay, yeah, that's working. Mm. Just, just. Cabinet, cabinet. Weapon rack. Some fish people get disturbed and we lost a soldier because he just wanted to go hang out in the lake. But then they all the fish people just kind of went back into their hole and now we're ignoring each other again. smoothing the barracks or placing beds in our jail cells oh and in theory we have smoothed uh here yay okay so we can place things for our nobles down here And we'll do, we'll do like bedroom, study, dining hall, bedroom, study, dining hall. This forgotten beast versus ant people? Who else is here? Soldier ant, yeah. Oh. 
Made quick work of that. Oh, yeah, here they go. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Ow. This forgotten beast, Ulet the Bad, has been down here for quite a while. He's been one of the more durable ones. Ability to stand lost. I'm okay with that. They also seem to heal themselves sometimes. Yeah, look. Terrifying. Uh, okay. So, the red is still being weird. Item and accessible stuff is usually because we're, like, moving stuff around, so that's usually, like, a one-time thing that's resolving itself. Interrupted by Cavefish Spearwoman. Thread. Thread, 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 thread. Okay. Um, look, all this smooth stuff. So much smoothing. We still have a slope here. Um, we're getting rid of these, right? work um okay you collect webs every single time wish I wish I could designate a web collection zone like I could designate a like you can make a fishing zone I want to make a web zone I can't just, like, forbid all the webs because more webs keep getting made. You're... yeah, you're in trouble. Okay. And you'll run off. And then they'll just kind of <laughs> slink back to their pond. They're at least much more contained now. Oh, this is ant people. Look at all them. the same gauntlet or gauntlets again same gauntlet. hey look Zahn is throwing a tantrum um let's go back up here this is working um, we smooth that. Like some of these, like here, there it actually worked. I think it's because, like these failed the first time because there was a pending job there, so they couldn't, they couldn't move the bed because the bed wasn't there yet, right? But now that the bed is there, now they're gonna come up and and do that. But they didn't work with the bookcases.
So I don't know what that means. <laughs> We are hugging 11 frames a second. Oh boy. I think we need to come up with a more permanent solution to all those fish people. And come on. That's not. the chonky fort. Um, okay. This becomes our jail. Uh, yeah, dungeon. I just do the whole thing. I don't want it to count as one dungeon. Right. And I just do them all individually. Good morning. Clicking gets a little finicky when you're going too slow. Because, mostly for engravings. I was just thinking about that. I want to engrave these walls to try and rehabilitate our grumpy dwarves a little bit. Since the only people who get thrown in jail are the ones who are tantruming. But clearly they need to be cheered up a bit. So I want to engrave them. Um, one quirk about engravings is that you'll see... Um, like, to, to us, it looks like a square, like a whole tile, gets engraved. And then, you know, if you had only one square between two rooms, then both of those rooms would have an engraved wall. But it actually doesn't work that way. Um, engravings only apply to one side of the tile, essentially. Um, so if we look down... Uh, I'm trying to think of a good place. Our like our guild halls. Yes, yes. Um, none of our engraved ones are adjacent to each other, but um, like this engraving. Engravings have facing, I guess. Um, this tile that a dwarf is standing on when they engrave, that will be the tile that the engraving is visible to. So if we had only one tile between these two rooms, and then I engraved this room, and that engraved that tile, then that tile's engraving would only apply to the one room. And then if we told them to engrave this room, then this whole wall would... It would look engraved, those tiles would be engraved, and visually there would be an engraving on that wall, but that engraving won't be contributing to anything happening in the second room that's adjacent to that tile. Um, so especially for when you're dealing with the worth of rooms, when you want two rooms to definitely be worth a lot, and you're going to be getting their worth out of your engravings, you want to leave two tiles there so that they have their own... so they all have their own wall, basically. Like these tiles... this wall will belong to this one, this wall will belong to this one, and they both get the full value of the engraved wall. That's why. 
I don't think that that's how that worked in previous versions, because before, like, I definitely just left one wall and then called it good. Um, but I've seen people talk about it working that way now. Let's again clean. We have made gauntlets. You'll see I, I haven't been fully consistent with that. Uh, just a bunch of sitting here. Oh boy. Um, we have a whole three written objects. Cool. But we have our we have thirty choirs sitting in here. I want, I want it to be busy. I want everyone to come to our fortress to be scholars. What are you doing? Are you here to eat? You're a scholar. You're reading a book. Okay. You're eating. You're eating. Because, of course. Uh, jails. Um, so, yeah, since I want to, I'm going to engrave all of these. Um, so now, in theory, we have, like, yeah, 26. I'm going to come up to the top. This. Oh, I want to undo this. Everyone's still training up here. Um, remove. Yes, you can all do that downstairs now. This can be removed. This can be removed. This can be removed. This can be removed. Yeah. Look at all that. Um, we re can reclaim all of this furniture as well. Um, and then down here, this is all just stuff. What are you? Oh, gems. Oh, and training. We need to move our training thing down here, too. Um, but our jails are here. Um, I'm assuming... Curious what happens to a person who's in a dungeon when you undo the dungeon. Now our sign is uh, just a dude on a rope. Curious if anyone's going to come get him, or if he's just going to be on a rope forever. Um, we can take this furniture back. There's Aerith, assigned and chained. Hmm. Must designate a dungeon before it'll be used from prison. Okay. I can just unassign you, right? Is that the best way to do that? Curious. That'll work. And we'll slowly disassemble all those two and nobles. You coming to free a person? You are destroy building. Well, kind of. You're taking the bed. <laughs> Oh, 
from there. Just remove the rope. Child playing make believe in the old dungeon. Why is there just a random scroll here? It's true. Yeah, I expect this this whole old the old fortress area is like prime child adventure area now. Jeez. Why the thread? Why the thread jobs? Hmm. You are still... Yep, yeah, here we go. Maybe. Okay. You are free. Intent after putting on a well-crafted item. So in theory, you were leaving, yes? Worried after being able to acquire something. So this person has been ejected. You are... You, he's been told to leave. Uh, he was serving out his sentence for a little while. So hopefully he just leaves now. Of course, he's going to have to go down to the new fortress to use the new exit to go back up, but that's fine. Armed. You still have the rope. <laughs> Shield and a helmet, but no weapons. Yeah, he's just leaving. Yeah, this visitor is ready to leave. Okay. Just don't punch anyone on the way out. Bye. Um, this becomes our barracks for uh, what you call it? Our guard. Pretty sure that's how I set them up. Yeah. Training. I'm gonna give an engrave order for our dungeon. Engrave the whole thing. And then we'll also engrave our barracks. And Probably this too. Well, that needs to be smooth first. We can smooth that. Smooth. And you can't smooth. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um. What else? What else do we need to smooth? Smooth and engrave. We can smooth all our bedrooms. Oh, we've dug out a bunch more too. 
like this. Smooth. Hey, look, Zahn is throwing a tantrum. Everyone act surprised. Okay. Now we'll just slowly... <laughs> You're tantruming just outside of the dungeon? Were you being placed in there? Or was that a total coincidence? We also need to do our hospital. Hmm, that's a thing. That'll be next. We also need to... We need to channel all that out. Okay, that'll... That's upcoming. <laughs> Let's focus on other things. Um, Like... Do we have everyone? Yeah. Our equipment situation is the same. Everyone's wearing one boot still. one person. Let's add second heel low boot. Eh, no, not color. Material. And then is it two? That stick? Hmm. We'll see if that actually did anything. Smooth! Make it smooth! Yeah, we're engraving. Cool. And someone's pugin. <laughs> um... Look at all these... Dimple cups. We probably have so many dimple cups. to mess with the auto farm, I think. Clear glass blocks. Excellent. Forgotten Beast is fighting everyone still. They're still alive. Wow. Okay. Something's got to keep the Crundle population in check, right? Oh, it died. Oh, 
Did it just die to a crundle? How embarrassing. No. <laughs> it went down a level. <laughs> okay. It's alive. Still fighting crundles, though. needing stones. We have some stones. Um, I know I've seen a whole bunch of Kalanite here. So I'll chalk this. Yeah. Let's chalk there we go. Um, I'm going to tell them to mine out a whole bunch. Right. Is this... And this. Like the chalk wound. Right, yeah. That all turns into porcelain. So I'll keep someone busy. Um, and then back on our military floor. Things are getting engraved. Our use our. <laughs> Put Zon in our 55 witnesses. Thanks, dude. Uh, we'll, we'll use our new dungeon area here. That's right. You have 20. You only need 19. Good. A single thing. You were wearing trousers. You have two socks. But one boot. Did that not work? I probably didn't hit the confirm button. Okay, fine. New footwear. Low boot. Steel. Confirm. Okay, so now you're missing a piece. Two assigned items. Steel low boot. May not have grabbed it yet. Hello. I am supposedly telling people to wear a second boot. I mean, now you have two assigned items. Is 
That means I'm gonna have to go in and do it manually. Confirm and save uniform. That's what I want to do. Let's go back. You. Hey, a fey boot. Or can't. Okay, fine. Details. Add footwear. Low boot. Made from steel. to wear that uniform. <laughs> Let's see if that works. They're all going to have to refigure themselves out. Uh, Feymood, what are you doing? Oh, we're smoothing. Smoothing everything. Can they not smooth the stairways? You can smooth the stairways. Is that... Why is that? <laughs> yes. Uh, I want the whole thing smooth. These are just random forbidden stuff in the stockpile. That's not how stockpiles work. They're all dimple cups. We have so many dimple cups. Wow. And those are the plump helmets and fish. No, why? Why did you do that? <laughs> Um, the vessel looks fine. That's interesting. The barrels with booze in them get little spigots. I didn't notice that before. Like, I noticed that, like, this is an empty barrel. And this is a barrel with a thing in it, so it gets a top. But the booze barrels gets a little spigot. That's cool. That's news to me. These are our empty bags. Um, you claim to clothe the shop. Good. Grab some bones, apparently. Potash is still happening. Been trying to work on all my job cancellations. The main thing that's still left is the uh, red. It's not quite sure how to help with that one. I also have this forgotten beast in the cave that has just been cleaning house. I think it's killed two forgotten beasts, even. Um, it used to say... <laughs> Mangled, crundled hand in its mouth. Uh, let's see. <laughs> These do not worship the forgotten beasts. I want to see its kills. Kills. There we go. It has killed one forgotten beast. And 132 other things. <laughs> You're welcome to go down and worship it if you want. I don't think it's in a... 
I don't think it's currently accepting new applications for followers. At least not if you're a crundle. 33 cave crundles. Crundles. No, a lot. So 33 crundles and also 40 crundles. Oh, 30, 30 female crundles and 40 male crundles. Oh my god. <laughs> And the, and the soldier's ant. Sol, soldier ants. It's been attacked by soldier ants a couple times. And it's still here. The ants aren't. This giant smear. <laughs> um, we had a goblin siege. We dealt with a goblin siege. Oh, I, lay, I raised this. I need to lower this. Um, and in theory, we have some more blasts. We have a, ooh, we're doing good. We're doing good. Doing good. Uh, let's do like this. We've had a couple of guilds ask for fancier guild halls, and we I just told them to get a told them to engrave it, and it worked. So we have a couple of nice guild halls now. fully moved out of our upper fortress. Hospital's the next big one. Yeah, more soldier ants. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Um, let's take a look at cave number one. There's a thing that I haven't been remembering <laughs> or doing, I guess. Um, there's a whole bunch of like clusters of obsidian wall here. There's a thing that's new to the Steam version. Where in caves you'll find little clusters of um, jewels and stuff. But here there's like one square in here. Right? Obsidian. City and floor, that's probably a, a fell. Um, in theory, there's goodies in here. But <laughs> that it could also be dangerous things. That's that's really the thing. Let's do this. Um, so I want to crack open some of these walls, but I want to have my soldiers nearby as I do so. Mm. It's beginning their mysterious construction. Let's <laughs> have all of our garbage. Still worried about things in here. I'm worried about things everywhere. Um, I'm gonna reclaim some of this. Shouldn't melt more things. What? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> this all got cleaned up. That's good. Um, and then over here. I don't want to get too close there, though. Look how many. Look at this. They're just accumulating. We've disturbed them a couple times by accident and they just kind of keep concentrating themselves into the deeper water. 
which is partly good and partly awful. Hmm. For more little squares of gems and stuff. That's true. We'd have to build a pump stack. But we could just turn that whole little pond into a obsidian cluster. That's a very foolproof way of killing things. You can actually kill forgotten beasts that way. And cast them in and cast in obsidian. Um there's much less trash in here than there used to be. Created Canareg, a frilly pigtail right mitten. A single legendary wet mitten. Um. Yeah, like what about here? Is that. There's nothing inside there. Let's go assign our mitten to a pedestal real quick. Um, you sign. Uh, is it in handwear? Pigtail mitten. I wonder if we're smoothing our, smoothing our shrines too. We're smoothing everything. Oh, we should do this. Um, this will be for our new nobles, for our new noble spaces. Oh. This becomes a bedroom. So we'll call this first one will be mayor. Office. Done. Wait. Um, office is for mayor. And then a dining hall. And also for mayor. Forget all what they all need. Mayor. Needs rooms. Okay. Now, in theory, if I come up here and in our mayor's room, this for this isn't even for anyone. A uh, dungeon master, mayor. Let's get rid of these. Then are you grumpy? Now you're grumpy. So now you want that stuff. Yeah. I can fix that. And you're just gonna eat in there because there's a table. That's it. Um. Yes. Yeah. So you want. Two chests and a cabinet. Um, chest, chest. Cabinet. Uh, 
a weapon rack. And armor stain. How do you feel about that? You just want a better quarters. Okay. We can do that. Do that. Now all your stuff will be great. Um... Jeez. Dangerous terrain. Oh, it was probably them all grabbing all that stuff down there. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Bedroom for someone. Oh. Um, let's do Champion? Does Champion need stuff? So Duke has... Duke has stuff. Queen has stuff. Mayor has stuff. Champion doesn't need anything. Captain of the Guard builds this. Captain of the Guard. And you get an Ops. Captain of the Guard. I don't know why a door didn't make it there. Or... Um, and then a dining hall. Maybe Captain. Okay. And you just need one of everything. Got it. Have an rack. First aid. And then we go down. Cool. One of these. Manager. Bookkeeper. It's you. You shat. You shat. You shat. Let's go. Rid of you. Yes. Yes. Captain of the Guard is still satisfied. Perfect. Um, so now we could do manager. chair. And you don't 
really need much. to move all your clothes. Okay. So manager's still fine. The bookkeeper. I'll move down. Make sure so you need at least a you need a chest and a cabinet. Everyone gets a chest and a cabinet. cabinet and a chest and be happy with it. And then that's you. You're still fine. Manor is just wanting better stuff. And down here. Chief Medical Dwarf, I guess. Dungeon Master. Okay. Nah. Bedroom. Or our chief medical dwarf. You. And you get an office. And a dining hall. And you need basically nothing, just in a cabinet. Just and a cabinet. Cool. And we'll get rid of all these. You're all still happy. Okay. Uh, I'll be. I won't be here for too much longer anyway, so that works. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Uh, yeah, it's afternoon, but good night. Thanks for hanging out. Um, dungeon master. Oh, 
Oop, now we're saving. Mm. I could do with a nap myself. Every time it hangs a little bit on saving, I'm just like, you're just going to crash, aren't you? Okay. Dungeon Master. Office. Done. Dungeon Master. And then a... Aww. Oh, it needs a tape. It needs a door. Dining hall. Oh. Someone has disturbed the fishes. Mm -hmm. And then this goes to Dungeon Master. It's funny. No, <laughs> there's just too many things in the water. Um, dungeon master, you need things. Let's do that real quick before I get totally distracted by all the fish. Damn it. And then a weapon rack. And... Then we'll come up here. And we'll remove these. I was going to remove our, our dormitory. I think we have enough bedrooms for people at this point. At least I hope we do. Um, and then, yeah. So we've relocated all of our, our nobles downstairs, and they're all still satisfied. Our broker doesn't want to export breastplates. So that's fine. Oh, yeah, we have a, a messenger. I've been forgetting about that. Um. Yeah, that's one more thing that's just down here now. We're engraving. I'm just. I'm gonna engrave all their stuff. I want them all to be happy. Um. I just go for it. And. Yeah, look at all smoothing. Okay. Sound came from here. Are they are they coming? They're Who are they chasing? You getting in or getting out? Just chilling. See, they're just gonna go back. Oh, you. People just grabbing stuff. No, not in the water. People just knew how to run towards safety instead of away. Things would be a lot smoother. Run from one cavefish person and turn a corner, and then there's 50 cavefish people. You. 
just some random Baroness. <laughs> it would! I could just tell them where it was okay to run to. And they get back in the water. Here's our soldiers. I want to look at your equipment. You... Are you wearing two boots? Right boot. I can. Cat butt. <laughs> Left boot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you just have to assign boots separately, apparently. Oh. Tell them to station here, and maybe we can lure some of them out. I just don't want to fight in the water. Oh, yeah. Look at this. That's disgusting. That's too many. Two right boots. That would be exactly like them. You. You're even in my squad, but you're not wearing anything. <laughs> in a martial trance. And naked. Is it because... Or which squad are you in? You're in the size of Larry. You just... You just took off all your clothes. You are assigned things. But you're not wearing them. Well, I'm going to assign... Squad to the two boots uniform. They're all gonna have to fix themselves. You're gonna die. Yep. What about you? If I tell them all to come down here, they will all die. God, you guys! You have been told to station up here. Yep. What about you? You gonna do it too? Just get surrounded and die? Yep. Oh, and that was one of our tantrumers, too. And now people are going to have to come down here to grab all this stuff. <laughs> Let's engrave tombstones. Those... There's still... Engraving's happening. Where are you? That's Zahn. Zahn is on our good, uh... Guilt is almost unbearable. 
interested in your fine restraint, satisfied after receiving food. Um. What was I just going to do? Tombstones. So we just lost... Where's the death notifications? Okay, well it was... It was those three. <laughs> right? Rim, Tar. Rim, Tar, Konos. Right? Because... I assume that means that they're dead if they're in this list. Uh, bomb wreck. Uh, right, yep, and then ism. This one. I almost feel like it'd be safer to send them abroad, and not just get stuck in these stupid water all the time. No. Of course. <laughs> Needs to not be. We're gonna get a. We're gonna get one too. Where'd it go? Which one did I put them on? long than I go back. Uh, of course. But you're in jail, right? Yeah, I don't care. Look at your engravings. Um, I'm gonna tell my two squads to station in the equipment stockpile so that maybe they can put their boots on. They are. Okay. Go on. Put on your boots. Okay. Our corpse stockpile is a lot smaller than it used to be. That's very cool. Library looks good, everyone's... Hey, you're weedy. You're eating. You're eating. Um, we smooth out our... Uh, smooth out our dining hall. We can... Continue that way. This all looks fine. Um, we did 
end up with a bunch of statues, didn't we? Let's do this. Um, all these decorated porcelain statues. Oh. Love it. Look at all that. Oh, we missed one, <laughs> one random smooth spot. Okay. I'd love to see a bunch of people in here hanging out and doing stuff. Oh, did we open up some stuff and not close it? Totally did. Hope no one went on adventures. Another 19, perfect. Need another 10, or nine, I guess. Um, let's do, let's do one tiny bit more. We'll wrap up with this, hi. Last floor is slowly getting bigger. You don't even know how big of a dork you are. Um, so yeah, we... I do... I keep coming back to that thought of turning those fish into obsidian stat... into, into his obsidian, basically. Um... That's quite the view. <laughs> Come here. Um, I mean, it's definitely a thing we could do. It would take a little bit. But it would be a permanent solution. A very sticky problem. main thing is you just have to we would have to pump magma up which means making a pump stack which we can do um it's too bad we don't have sand on this map because if we had sand then we could make the components out of glass which is magma safe wouldn't cost as much. But as it is, I mean, so it takes a pump, takes a block, a pipe, and a screw. Pump. Yeah, block, corkscrew. Fortunately, we already have a power source going. Uh, each one needs 10 power, so for each level, we need 10 power. Which means going from here. So on level negative 12, and then up to. You need to do like. have to go like all the way up. Uh, 
a 26. 12, so that's what, 12 plus 26? So, 38, we'd have to make 38 pumps, which is 380 power. Which we have. Okay, so power-wise would be fine. Um, the main thing is you make make them out of magma safe materials. Uh, let's we'll keep an eye on our phone room here. There we go. Construct. Glass. There. Perfect. Um, the fact that someone found the corpse means that they're there. Which one is that even? A different bomb wreck? Multiple dead bomb wrecks in the same pond? forbid your stuff. Anyway, um, meh. Question is, what is magma safe? could just do this. We could go rock block. Um, and then corkscrew. Except we have to, so that's going to have to be metal. Which means iron is probably the most plentiful, safe, magma safe thing we have. I'm not making them out of steel if I don't have to. Corkscrew. And block corkscrew pipe. So if you make 40 of each of those, and then this we just have to make out of Gabro? Gabro, we have a bunch of. There. Okay. Cat, you were in the way. Ugh. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll queue that up. We will figure out how to mine all that out later. Um, but for now, we're gonna call that good. But yeah, um, I'm gonna call it there for the day. Happy Monday. <laughs> Sorry if I was a little more that I meant to be today, but definitely half asleep right now. Um, but we made some progress. We've moved some stuff downstairs. We got all of our nobles down. We've got our jail down there. The only thing that's left up top now is the, is the hospital, I think. Um, which we have dug out our new, our new hospital. We just need to put furniture into it. Um, oh, and our, our long-term, our, our inn, our tavern. Our long stay people are still upstairs, um, but that's fine. Um, we'll we'll move them down, but that's not a huge priority. Just some some bedrooms in the hospitals left up there. 
And then that's it. Um, and then we'll be down at the, the bottom fortress. We're smoothing it all out. We're, we're starting to engrave things. We're moving statues around. Um, we'll make some more. We'll encrust some more. And then from there, we, I mean, yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll do this uh, pump stack. We'll see how hard that is. The main issue with pump stacks is that I mean, machinery in general is a bit of an FPS strain, which we're, we're doing this because the fish people are also an FPS strain. So, yeah. Um, but luckily with something like a, a magma pump stack, we're not going to be pumping continuously. So we'll just be, we'll have a way to disconnect the whole thing from power. And then once we've pumped up all of the magma that we want, we'll we'll do our obsidian trick, and then we'll turn off the pump stack, and then it won't, it shouldn't do anything at that point. Um, the main thing that pump stacks are weird because they have they, I mean, if you're pumping magma, you have all the heat calculations of all the magma going through all of the the spaces. Um, it'll, it'll it recalculates the heat of all the spaces adjacent to the magma as it flows. As that changes it all the calculations and stuff, so um, it's not good to do it like forever. Um, once it kind of stabilizes, it should be fine. But it should be fine to do it to do like one one big shot of of obsidian, um, and we'll deal with those fish. We'll we'll put them out of their misery. Um. And hopefully that kind of cleans up our fortress. Um, a lot of the trash is taken care of. A lot of the corpses are taken care of, which is great because we so far have just been lucky in not having a necromancer come by and just wreak havoc on our corpse stockpile. The thing. Um, yeah, and then then we'll see what we do. Um, Um, we'll, we'll talk about what happens after this fortress is is done. Um, I want this to be a capital. I want this to be a very nice capital for our civilization. And then at some point, I want to retire this fortress um, so that it stays surviving in the world. And then we can find a new spot to do something new in the same world, in the same civilization. So this this fortress will continue being the capital and then we'll do some other fortress within the same civilization, and we'll we'll see some cross interactions with all that. Um, possibly seeing some peop some familiar faces, maybe. Um, at the very least, interacting with like the liaison and the queen and all that. That'll all be the same. Um, that's kind of kind of a long term plan. Um, but in the meantime, there's more to do here. Um, we haven't. We haven't dug as deep and as greedily as we can quite yet, so we'll probably go a bit deeper and look for some cool things. I do need to dig out some of those vaults in the in the caves. Um, <laughs> once everyone gets their boots on, I think we're going to do some some vault cracking. Um, so that'll be fun. Uh, yeah, so tune in on Thursday for more uh, more door fortress on Thursday. We'll be back at Elden Ring Randomizer Speed Run on Saturday. And then next Monday we'll be doing more for Fortress again. So hang out, subscribe, follow, whatever. I'll be here. Um, so yeah, hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.